Hey YouTube, uh, this is Lockdown Tech Toys. Again, welcome to my channel. So I know I've done a, a number of videos already on my um, uh, Tab S7 Plus, but I just wanted to respond to uh, a comment on one of the, them asking if this tablet is a good laptop replacement and also if you can use Microsoft Suite on this to um, actually get some work done. And I have to say yes and no. Yes, especially if you're a student or you know, you're know you in college, you're in high school, you want to get um, research papers done, this will be great for you. Maybe if you're a retiree or a housewife, you have just some simple documents to create, that would be great. Um, but if you're an office worker and if you need to connect to the company VPN like me or if you need to have secure access that requires something like a, a laptop level, like PC level applications or programs, then this is not for you. Uh, let me show you why. So first of all, you can see here that this is how it looks like with the uh, the, the separate uh, keyboard cover that I don't really use unless I go bring this out and I don't go out that often and I don't bring this out so this is hardly ever used but anyway if you're traveling this is excellent this is good it fits well with the tablet itself um, you get the same Android layout you have a drop down um, screen over here you have the home button at the bottom you have the tabs here that open up in true Android fashion. So you can see all the various Microsoft apps over here, including Excel, PowerPoint, uh, um, and Word. And you have the back button over here. So to, to go to Dex, you need to open up Dex here in the drop down screen. And if you wait about, I don't know, three to four seconds, it's going to bring you the decks and you can see right now that it's just like a PC layout. So the apps are neatly lined up at the bottom right here. And uh, yeah, it's just like a computer. You know, this is a home button here. This is the app, uh, the app button here. So if you want to look for Microsoft apps, you can just go here and type micro. And you can see all the Excel, Word, Outlook, PowerPoint, and OneDrive. So I opened all of these uh, up already. And just to give you a look at what, what you can expect, this is what you can expect. So um, Microsoft Office has this and it will show you all the files that, you know, PDF, Excel, and Word that, that, that are stored on your device. So for example, opening up this PDF file will just show you um, what kind of uh, things you can expect. So obviously this is a PDF reader it's very basic. It's nothing special. You have no editing functionality at all. If, if I right click the mouse, it doesn't bring me anywhere. So it's a very basic uh, reader, this Microsoft Office, um, I mean, yeah, app, right? So it's called Office. And then if you go to Microsoft Outlook, it kind of look likes, uh, looks like the PC version. Um, and actually it's Pretty much almost the same except that it does not have uh, I don't know some of some additional functionality like you, you you can't put your calendar here you have to go over over to the left to look at it uh, and so on and so forth but uh, in terms of basic functionality basically in intermediate I would say it's is on the same level as a laptop or PC now um, if you go over to OneDrive uh, it'll show you everything that you have stored on OneDrive and I let my OneDrive go like over capacity so it's full um, but yeah this is the basic screen and it pretty much looks the same as it would on a PC now going on to Microsoft Excel I opened up um, this sample sheet here and I didn't subscribe to Microsoft 365 because for the last 12 months since I bought this, I already had Microsoft 365 and I realized I used it very little because I am working off the company's VPN. So everything is already provided. And for this, uh, it's only useful if you are, like I said, in university, you know, you need this for your own 
um, assignments and then this will be really useful. It, it totally makes sense for you to sign in with a subscription and pay for the Microsoft 365. Uh, unfortunately, you don't have a one-time off uh, uh, payment like you do on Windows um, you know, 7 or Windows 10 or 11. But going to File brings out all the options here. And you know, the new Open Save, Save As, Print, Share, Close settings, they are all the same as on a laptop. So you know, that's pretty much the same. And you can see all these options grayed out because obviously um, after my 12 month free subscription that came with the tablet elapsed, I didn't bother to uh, renew it because I don't, I don't see a need for it for, for myself. But if you do, you can see everything is here. You have like format painting, you have, you have a bold, italics, underline. Um, you know, fill and, and all the other options that come with the standard, you know, Excel format. If you right click, you, I mean, there are fewer options here, uh, but you still have edit and you have, um, you know, copy, paste, cut. The, the, really the basics. I don't see any formulas um, or anything. You can still drag and, drag and drop these um, files, but, I mean, these cells, but I don't, I don't see any way for you to add formulas in here. Uh, but then again, I haven't used these, uh, this program very much on my tablet. So you have insert, in the insert tab, you have table, uh, data from picture, pictures, shapes, text box, smart art, recommended chart, comment, and link. They're the same as on the, as on the desktop. You have draw where you can actually draw with them. And this tablet's a good function is that it actually comes with a pen inside. A fully featured S Pen, a Bluetooth S Pen, so you can use that. Oh, formulas! So formulas um, are here, and you can also see that these options are grayed out. Once you pay for the Microsoft 365 um, subscription, you can use these. All right, data review and view. You can show comments, and you can view it um, using you know various formula bars or grid lines or headings. So everything here is the same, and you can share it. Um, as you know, per the Windows version, except that if you right click, you have well, way fewer options than on a standard computer, but it shouldn't bother you too much, you know, if you're using it for assign for home assignments, things like that. Now, if we go on to um, PowerPoint, this is a sample PowerPoint uh, that I uh, assignment that I did. Uh, Quite a few years back when I was a student and when I was doing my MBA, I, uh, me and my, my, my teammates, we compiled um, something about e-waste. And so we created something like this. So in PowerPoint, you can see that all the options here are, you know, still valid. You have, you have home, new slide, layout, font, you have draw, you have insert, design, you have transitions. Um, the options are there, but it's just that you have f fewer options than on the PC. So, and you have slideshow as well. So, basically, it's 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 the same, right? I would say basic up to somewhere like between basic and intermediate, you have the same. But if you want to advance features, obviously stick with the computer. Um, but I think for you know basic functions, you can do everything with this tablet here. So you, you don't have to bring along or buy a second device. You have review, the view tab, you have smart lookup. Um, I think on the PC version, you have more options. And you have view as well. You can zoom in and zoom out and fit to window. So uh, pretty much, yeah, I think, it's, I think it's a pretty good implementation, I'd say. Um, and then finally, you have Microsoft Word. So an example of a blank document looks like this. And you have the basic functionality, bold, italics, underline, you have colors and formatting. Uh, you have insert, draw, layout. Oh, I use Word a lot and these are way fewer options than on the um, PC. But still, for basic use, it really beats like something like WordPad or something. <laughs> so I'd say Microsoft 365 is really essential if you want to use this tablet as, um, you know, the, the Tablet 7 Plus as a PC replacement, but only for basic up to intermediate functions, I would say. Um, 
otherwise just go get a PC. I mean, <laughs> this is a 5D version and frankly, between getting this and, and getting like a basic PC, like a Microsoft Surface or what, one of those thin and light ultrabooks, the price is not that different, but it's just this AMOLED screen. And the fact that this is the best ever Android tablet, this is just not a Windows tablet. So, you know, you just need to be mindful of that. So that's it for now. I mean, this is, this is my quick review of um, Microsoft Office on the Tablet 7 Plus and how it may or may not help you if you're looking for uh, some functional, functionality to work with as a work device. Um, yeah, it's not suitable for office workers, but it's great for students, is what I would say. Well, I hope this video helped you, and uh, if, you, if you thought it was helpful, please leave a, a like um, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know, um, and I will answer them as soon as I can. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.